Hey, what's up, folks? This is John with MD News. Um, as some of you may know, last week we published our GTX 570 review. Um, if you'd like to check the review out, go to MV News, and and it will be accessible from the front page. Um, the review does cover uh, some synthetic benchmarks and some gaming benchmarks, and offers a comprehensive view of the performance of the GTX 570 versus the EVGA Superclock Edition and also compared with the GTX 580. One thing that's unique about the review is that the performance results compared with the GTX 580 um, offer an information column on each uh, performance evaluation to show just how close to the GTX 580 um, the GTX 570 gets. Now at $349 um, and being sold during the holiday season um, against the, the $499 um, GTX 580 I can say right now that the, the 570 is a very, very attractive um, GPU. Um, so here we have it. Um, we, we have a system running Stone Giant, um, and I have some programs up: MSI Afterburner, NVIDIA Inspector, Core Temp, um, and Firefox, and CPU Z. Yes. <clears throat> now the reason I have all this up is because I would like to show you down here to the system itself. This is my X6 system. This is not the largest case in the world. It's a uh, um, it's a Sunbeam Tunic 3. Um, now, for a single high-end graphics card, it's a little bit of a tight fit. Definitely is. Um, but overall, the system does remain cool, and I enjoy it. Now, I have this fan outside of the of the setup because I wanted to show you what we have in here. Obviously, this is an SLI setup. What this is, the GTX 570 reference and the EVGA GTX 570. Um, let me put this fan back in here just to kind of help. Obviously, it's a little bit warm right now. Um, and, um, you know, my apologies for the look of this setup, but I just kind of threw this together because I did the single card setup and evaluated that and started looking at the power uh, consumption of these new new Fermi cards and honestly um, I thought if I dialed everything back to stock took all my vo voltages down um, there is a distinct possibility that my 650 watt Antec Earthwatts power supply may be able to run a GTX 570 SLI setup provided that that I don't uh, really overload the system with with extra accessories um, you know, an extra voltage requirements. So, um, for the last 10 days, I've been I've been running that that setup, I've been testing it. Um, uh, you know, some of my tests have included running SuperPi at the same time as a YouTube video, at the same time as Stone Giant, uh, something else. I ran something else at the same time, but you know, I did some stability tests like that. Just to just to see, you know, I check my voltages out and temperatures and such. Now, right now, it's been running Stone Giant for a while now. Peak GPU temperatures are at 84 and 85 respectively, um, and these are clocked. At, both of these are clocked at the EVGA super clocked speeds. So, um, but the you know overall, what I can take from this is that that these these cards are installed in a not the most optimal system. It could be um, it could be a larger case. It could have a little bit better ventilation, um, and it could have a, a much higher wattage power supply, of course. But um, I wanted to evaluate this because you know after the review, I got two 570s sitting in front of me and an SLI motherboard. How could I not want to check that out? Um, worth the risk, definitely, of course. Um, I don't like to be afraid. Uh, when, with my hardware at all. It's not worth it. Life is too short. So CPU-Z is reporting a stock CPU um, speed of 2.8 gigahertz. My X6 turbo mode is on. Um, using graphics driver G GeForce uh, 26309. Again, these uh, graphics card speeds are at 797 and 1950 for the memory. Um, my core temp is reporting a nice and nice and low CPU temperature. Uh, we have Stone Giant running. There's Firefox with the review. 
Uh, we will exit that for right now. Actually, no. What we need to check out is in the Stone Giant at 1920 by 1080 with the 3.96 gigahertz system. Um, at 1920 by 1080, the reference 570 pulled 71.5 frames a second at 1920 by 1080. Um, that's the average. 71.5. Um, the EVGA pulled 77.5. The 580 pulled 81.7. Okay, so remember the 71.5 here because, or or rather the 77.5, since what we're going to do is we're going to run Stone Giant in SLI mode um, at the EVGA uh, superclock speeds. So we're really going to see if you had two EVGA superclocks, you know, what would you get out of this? Now, understandably, the CPU is running slower, so there could be a case where scaling actually does not, you know. Um, if it's supposed to be 99%, then it might only be 90. But I can tell you from my evaluation so far in the last 10 days, it is actually, the scaling has been exactly where it should be, regardless of the CPU speed. So, let's run Stone Giant right now. Okay, there's our fraps readout. I'm going to press, my, press enter and my hotkey. This is how I have measured performance in all of my reviews. I know that there's a built-in benchmark, but I have chosen to use fraps. Now, Stone Giant should be familiar to most of you. It's uh, made by a company called BitSquid, and this is a benchmark that really showcases uh, tessellation capabilities of uh, DirectX 11 hardware. Um, these 570s, I would say, are you know even when S in SLI, are even better suited to a resolution like. 2560 by 1440 or 2560 by 1600. That's the end of the benchmark. And the average is 142.516. 142.516. Now these results are, are repeatable. I ran this previously and the results showed 143.013. So scaling is working perfectly. <laughs> um, SLI performance of the GTX 570 is astoundingly great. This is the first SLI setup that I've used and it's wonderful to, to kick off um, my experience with SLI with a with a set of graphics cards that that with Nvidia's drivers being really good right now, um, it's it's easy to set up SLI. The performance is there. Um, gameplay experiences are are just great because the image quality afforded is is just awesome. I love using the crazy anti-aliasing modes. Um, so hey, uh, check back at nvnews.net. Uh, for more information on the GTX 570, some more in-depth looks at uh, GTX 570 uh, SLI performance, and also about upcoming graphics cards. And, uh, you know, we do have quite a few existing uh, graphics cards reviews. So come, come check out uh, NV News. Check out our review.